lowering artifacts to Mars, and scientists have sunk a second device in the bottom of the ocean east of Madagascar. And what they did was they captured the hum that comes from the Earth. Now, this hum is real. They're, they've readily admitted to it. They don't know what's causing it. At least, officially, they don't know what's causing it. So, I'm going to show you where Madagascar is so you get an idea. Hey, there's Madagascar and y'all, just in case you're curious. It's off the coast of Africa. Somewhere near the Indian Ocean. Alright. So I'm gonna go back to the uh, article and continue on. Scientists have captured mysteries home come from deep inside Earth. There's still no closer to working out what it is. It has been known that Earth constantly generates low frequency vibrational hum signal. The first attempt to detect this hum was made in 1959, but it wasn't until 1998 scientists finally proved its existence. Since then, there have been hundreds of attempts to record their hum. They have all been made using seismometers seismometers on land. Now researchers have captured the hum for the first time using seismic instruments at the bottom of the sea. Researchers first located in the Indian Ocean east of Madagascar between 2012 and 2013. Then they applied a combination of techniques to remove interference from ocean infragravity waves. I don't even know what that is. Currents and electronic glitches and corrected for signals generated by any earthquakes. Eventually they are able to determine that Earth's natural vibration peaks at several frequencies between 2.9 and 4.5 millihertz. These vibrations can't be heard by people because they are approximately 10,000 times smaller than lower hearing threshold of the human ear, 20 hertz. However, the fact that they have been detected at the bottom of the ocean and around 70% of the Earth's surface is covered by water suggests that the hum is present across the entire globe. The research team led by Martha Dean at Paris Institute of Earth Physics hopes the new data will provide clues as to the source of the hum. Seismologists have proposed many different theories to explain the continuous vibration from atmospheric disturbances to ocean waves moving over the sea floor. Uh, however, the study published by in Geo, just geophysical research letters concludes that these theories can only explain part of the vibrations. Dean and her co-authors believe the data could also help scientists map the interior of the Earth with a little more detail and accuracy than ever before. Uh, you scientists better watch it. You might wind up proving me what the uh, how Earth people correct. I'm not in that group, by the way. I reject the Hollow Earth theory. Other than there are caverns uh, inside the Earth, that's known. And we definitely have some people living underground. That's known. Other than that, I reject the Hollow Earth theory. Scientists traditionally study the Earth's interior during Earth earthquakes, but this means they are severely limited to specific times and areas where quakes commonly occur. Using hum signal as a source of seismic waves will avoid this problem because it is generated continuously and can be detected across the planet's surface. I'll say this one more time, scientists might wind up proving how Earth people write.
Who knows? Yeah, I'm going to be keeping an eye out for this story because that's interesting, to say at least. Or, you know, who knows? Maybe we have a big machine at the center of the world. You never know with these people. You don't know when they're lying and when they're uh, telling the truth. I mean, scientists tell the truth part of the time, at least. How do you know when a politician is lying? Their lips are moving. <laughs> Alright, that's it. That's our Mad Science Update. Thanks for watching.